uh, next one. This is a doozy here. Question. How to set boundaries with my neighbor. My roommate and I have ha- been having more backyard fires as a safer way to see friends during the <laughs> pandemic. Our one neighbor, Kay, is in her 50s and keeps inviting herself over when we are having a fire. She usually dominates the conversation, complaining about her kids or work, and she won't take the hint to leave when we are ready to pack it in. We've tolerated, up, we've tolerated it up until now because she doesn't seem to have any friends of her own and the pandemic has been difficult for everyone. However, last night she crossed the line. A friend, B, was over for a socially distanced backyard fire and B agreed to pee in a discreet corner of the yard by the shed because she wasn't in our house bubble. Later, Kay walked up to our back door and peed where a welcome mat would normally be in full view. We were shocked and didn't say anything to her at the time, but her bathroom is literally next door. She was already making us feel uncomfortable, but this act was the final straw. How do we tell her that we don't want her inviting herself over and peeing on our doorstep anymore? See, now that's a question where the answer is in the question. How do you tell her that? You say, uh, don't come to our house and piss on our front door, you fucking lunatic. What the fuck is the matter with you? All right. I think, I think, I think Kay kind of snapped. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, yeah, Kay should fight the girlfriend from the previous (laughs) (laughs) Two different types of great women. Uh, Yeah, I I don't know, man. That's the point where I think you just got to be explicit and be like, hey. It honestly, so questions like this, it honestly feels like what they're actually asking is, could you ask? Yes, her exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's a, yeah. yeah, because like, what the fuck is this question? Like, she literally gave you the best out possible where it's like, yeah, you like pissed on my floor. <laughs> but yeah. it, it, it's like this question is either like it's part of some like ongoing like public degradation thing that they enjoy or it's like they're hoping that she reads this. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, and the only that's how she'll get the message. But like, I, I love, I, that I love idea the idea that, that she might she does read it, but she's like, us. Oh, I guess other people like to piss on uh, people's front doors either. <laughs> I w- I'm gonna I'm gonna send this to my friends. Some people are really uptight about this. Uh, it's cool that you're cool about it. Though. <laughs> I uh, this is like people inviting themselves over, getting in your way. Dominating the conversation and then pissing on the floor is where child free and <laughs> intersect. <laughs> is exactly what it's like. <laughs> I, I love that she does point out that like her actual bathroom is next door, and the friend asks, yeah, like, you know, like, like, hey, like, just just go behind the head, um, behind the shed. It's fine. It's not a big deal. And then like, and then Kay saw that and was like, aha. The permission has been granted. It is a blanket, a blanket agreement that everyone can piss anywhere around this house. <laughs> yeah. This is this. Maybe there is a there's an intersection here with another subject. She just needed a, like a codified, explicit set of rules. See, this you know. is why the Napoleonic Code is better than English common law tradition. <laughs> 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 just have to spell it out. Some you just put a list of rules up in your backyard, like in Caddyshack. That's like. Don't piss on the floor. Don't piss on my house. Uh, you know, don't come unless you're invited, etc. But I, I mean, I do like the idea, like, 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 Matt, you're absolutely right. This person is hoping that someone else will confront this woman for them. And like vis-a-vis this woman reading Dear Prudy and being like, ooh, is that about me? But I like the idea that this is someone already so cracked that they would piss on your welcome, Matt, is going to read that and be like, ooh, did I overstep the mark? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, this is like someone who does that is not going to be like, Oh, silly me. I <laughs> I, mis- I misread the situation again. I always do this when it comes to pissing. Yeah, I, I, I was there alcohol involved. I mean, this just the series of events is very hard for me to understand. Yeah. Uh it seems like maybe an alcohol type thing. If someone is just completely sober and peeing on your your door, that's a they're trying to make a point. Yeah, that's someone you can get out of your house with a butterfly net. <laughs> it's like allowed then. <laughs> yeah, castle doctrine applies, I yeah. think. Yeah. I have to accept what you're saying here is that, you know, you, you have a problem with me. So, okay. <laughs> I'm just basically like being invited over to someone's house. You know, like I'm, I'm trying to respect the COVID bubble. So I take a shit in their backyard and I'm like, I dug a hole. <laughs> I dug a hole. You provided a trowel that I found in the shed. What do you want from me? It would be funny to walk in on your friend who's staying over. <laughs> You're like setting up the couch for him and you come back in and he's just dragging his asshole on the carpet like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> he's like too shy to use the bathroom. 
He's like, well, you weren't around and I couldn't ask. So 